All right, just got packed up and got just finished doing a bunch of little modifications and additions and upgrades. I got rid of my little booster battery because it was accepting and discharging voltage at a much different rate than the other battery. I was trying to help with it. So like half the time you look at this and it'd be like 20 watts are draining into the other battery because one was discharging at a different rate and then when you stop discharging it's got to balance out. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, I've got this fuse panel. This hooks directly to the car battery, that big red cable you saw under the hood there. And we got a 30 amp and a 20 amp fuse for these two guys. They both put out 20 amps if you crank them right up, but I'm gonna run them both at 15 once I got something to measure it well with. Right now, I would guess they're charging around 10 amps. It seems to charge up pretty quick. My battery is about a 800 watt hour. I use some Queen B cells. They're like 31 700s or something. Uh, or 32. I, I don't know. Or something. Uh, I got this little red mark in the diesel tank. That means a half tank. This means it's above a half tank. <laughs> got the Xbox loaded up. My inverter fuses. These are um, pretty cool. I uh, don't know if you've ever seen these. Oh, whoever the heck is watching. Oh, I forgot I put a bunch of fuses in there. Anyways, when a fuse blows. Come on. Oh, this is back powering. But uh, yeah, uh, you get lights turn on, tells you that it's blown. Pretty convenient, but it doesn't work for all things, just for most 12 volt stuff. I got those from Amazon. I got the booster with me, voltmeter, axe, hammer. Oh, I probably need to grab a torch. And then, uh, there's my cooler, it's a skip bag, water's full, water bottle full, TV's put away, this system works very well, I went down a really bumpy road and it was amazing, it doesn't move at all, just modified the linkage for my, uh, my bed living arrangement thing i think it's a little bit too high now my head kind of hits that vent up there but i'll fix it that's for another time yeah so that's that's about it i'm gonna try to get out to wipers or something probably gonna be alone Fully stocked for the night. Got some chicken and mayonnaise and chips and all the healthy stuff. statue of the man on the horse out there on the hill let's see it's coming into view it's still not in view oh that's yeah, up there looks like it's gone uh oh there's the gas plant I know that I'm getting close to the turn when I can see that Village Road on the bridge. 
bridge. I always want to park and stop and look at the water here. Alright, RC Ranch area. This is where you put on tire chains. I'm going to try doing it without the chains, but uh, I'm going to need them. <laughs> I'm just gonna get stuck somewhere and then put them on. Okay, uh, well last time this was not wet. This is a super deep puddle. Um, everybody blasting through it is just having fun and flooring it so I can't even tell like how bad it is really. And then you have a random little Mercedes that comes through no problem. So everyone's sticking to the left. I don't like this. <laughs> okay, there's no holes underneath. My rear end is sliding though. It's going wherever it wants. Okay, that was not near as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, man, it's funny being worried about little things like this, but when you have a front wheel drive van, it makes the little things like exciting. Like if I had my Forester, I would just go through that without even thinking about it. Yeah, I'll find a camping spot. It might just be this one right here. I don't know if I mentioned, but I had to put the tire chains on before I even tried that ice. That was just ridiculous. I was not about to get stuck in water and have to put the chains on while submerged. Well, you probably can't tell on video, but I'm on Trapper's Hill. Um, and I've decided I'm just going to turn around. I mean, I could make it like... Uh, but it would be a real big push So I have to back down very very slow so I don't get to the point where the ABS recognizes I'm moving and Won't let me use the brakes when my rear wheels lock up Because I only have grip on my front wheels right now Wow. Yeah, getting going there was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but I, I could have done it. Alright, I'm um, just going to find a site. It seems like all of them are taken. If I was with people, I would go up this without even hesitating. Alright, let's uh, get to a campsite before it's dark, though. Oh, come on starting to spin on me <laughs> well I didn't beat the Sun but here I am probably can't even see that the heaters running getting uh, inside warm I'm just watching it get a little bit darker before I head in for some relaxation and then sleep well here I am the funny thing about this place it's crown land you got to pay a public access fee for it. Not You didn't have to before. I think it's because everybody started coming out here during the beginning of the pandemic. And a whole bunch of inexperienced campers, they all assume that it's cleaned up after them. I'm sure they don't clean up at home. I'm probably one to talk. <laughs> well, um, I actually get LTE internet here. So I'm going to do some uh, gaming, I'm going to play some Halo online, do some trash talking, you know. My dinner tonight is a chicken sandwich, mayo, barbecue, it's still warm, so not bad. Well, I got the bed all folded out here, heater set to 22, just like my house. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sleep with my, just my boxers tonight. Yeah, 
be a good one. So this is where the fuel level is right now. Just to give you an idea of how much it burns. And we'll see where it's at in the morning. All right, good morning. What do we got here? Everything's in the same spot. I put my head down around 10.30. Right now it's 6.50. Yeah, that's more time than I usually spend in bed. But uh, there's no light coming in at all yet. Guess it's time to make some breakfast and figure out what I'm going to do today. That's the fuel level for a full night. Uh, it was running on semi-high. I still got to figure out the issues with my venting. It's definitely not as efficient as it could be. Right now it's minus 5 outside. It still has to work somewhat hard, but no problem maintaining the heat. So... I thought the cutoff for the inverter would be 11 volts, but I guess if you're not draining too much, it goes past 11. Actually dead on my battery is 9 volts, but I think it's going to cut out before it gets there. Fully charged is 12.6, so 12.6 all the way down to 9 is what the battery does. You can hear that fuel pump just ticking away. All right, let's get this show on the road. Unfortunately, no hikes today because it is icy everywhere. For breakfast, I am hanging my head in shame. <laughs> Chicken and mayonnaise sandwiches again. I really gotta start shopping. I mean, I usually don't cook it all at home, but this is hardly an improvement. I mean, McDonald's will probably give you a more balanced diet in the long run. Anyways, I get this bottle because it's easy to apply. You don't need a knife. King of laziness. You know, I'll have some better meals sooner or later <laughs> nice so engine started no problem right now I'm charging that battery it was at 10.8 when I started the engine we'll see what it's at when I get home that's so much darker than I thought it would be there's the only light in the sky getting in like this kind of looks intense from that angle, but when you get up to it, it's fine. I made it in. I should be able to make it out. There. Alright. Goodbye, wipers. Well, I'll be here for a bit, but... This water... It's not higher. It's not higher. Feels like it's about, I don't know, not that deep. Well, this is much better than yesterday. That was like nothing. Just hit the record button because it's the most risky part about coming out here right now. And I guess I can take off the chains right here. Okay, a word of advice when you're unhooking these. I did it the wrong way the first time and 
Okay, first loosen the front and then unhook the back. Oh, come on, this is so hard with one hand. Need Okay, there we go. And yeah, uh, <laughs> on my practice, I jacked this wheel up and put the chain on. I unhooked the front first, and then the back fell down and got tangled, and I ended up having to take the wheel off. But Okay, I don't think I can get to the... Or I can, yeah, I probably can. Look at these tires just steaming. Come on. I'm home. Here we go. So I don't really have an idea how fast it's charging, but when I left, I was at 10.8 volts. Now I'm at 11.74 volts, and it's uh, about a 65 kilometer drive. And uh, yeah, there's my fuel level. I started up here, but I was there by i think 5 30 or 6 and i ran it for probably 14 hours yeah and i played xbox for maybe two hours yeah okay well yeah i'm home yay thanks for watching my video if you enjoyed it you know do all that hit the buttons and stuff <laughs> have a good one